Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, we're doing a fun video. It is an anti-haul or is it? I'll be talking about all the new makeup releases and whether or not it's actually worth your purchase. You guys wanna see what those are. If I'm gonna pick them up myself, well then definitely keep watching. Alrighty guys, so as always, this series is always so much fun for me. I just like sitting back, I just like sitting back, relaxing, and talking about makeup with you guys. I get all my information from Instagram. I go like on Trend Moods page, New Makeup Spotlight, Indie Makeup Releases, to find all the newest makeup launches to let you guys know what they are and are they actually worth your money. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in. I tend to do this video every other Friday. That way I can really let the makeup build up because there are just some weeks where <laughs> nothing's really being released and then other weeks are just so much being released. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty. So so to start things off, we have the new Popsicle or Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain from Fenty Beauty. These are instantly moisturizing, these instantly moisturize the lips with bright, vivid shades, satin finish, and shades Berry Banger, Strawberry Sangria, Zesty, Bestie, and My Type. Now these are definitely like some beautiful red shades. I'm kind of curious to see like how they look. You guys know that I have a very, very soft spot for red, and then I also really do love Fenty Beauty products. So I'm really curious to see like how these look. Now these are lip stains. I am personally not the biggest fan of lip stains. I have a couple from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, and I do like them, but I'm a glossy bitch. I'm a glossy bitch. So it's really hard for me to like just put on a lip stain and then call it a day because I know what I like and it's just so hard. But I will say these are actually really pretty. So that one's kind of like a maybe. Okay, so next we have the new Skin Transformers from Makeup by Mario. This is a salt sculpt transforming skin enhancer, a complexion balm that warms, tints, and even skin tone with a dewy finish. So I really want to try this, and I'm going to end up ordering it because it did launch on May 26th, but my only thing is that it's dewy finish. You guys know that I'm not really that into dewy finish products because I am super, super oily, but I really have been enjoying Makeup by Mario. It took me forever to try this brand. And when I did, I was like, oh my God, why have I been sitting on this brand for so long? So I'm definitely really interested to get it. It's just, will I like it? That's the thing is, will I like it? Um, it does retail for, I don't know, I don't see a price point, but well, I like it. So that's something I'm really curious about. Like if, if I like, if I like it or not, but I definitely can see myself picking this up. Like I know me, I'm going to end up getting it. Next we do have the new Tinkerbell collection with Spectrum Cosmetics. This is a six piece brush set, a mini glowful mist, a Tinkerbell sponge duo and a Tinkerbell keyhole makeup bag. These are, this is super cute. I know they did like a Winnie the Pooh one and I was kind of mad at myself for not picking that up because it was just so damn cute. I should have gotten it. So I know me, I'm not gonna be getting it just cause I don't need to buy all these brushes cause I literally have so many brushes as it is. They're so freaking adorable though. I think the one I should have gotten honestly was the um, uh, Winnie the Pooh one cause I didn't get that one. I should have gotten that one, but it is such a cute collection, especially for me being such a Disney lover. Like you think I'd wanna jump on board with this and I'm just not, but it's so cute. Next, we have the new Laguna Bronzer Cream from NARS. This is a creamy bronzing formula that is inspired by the best-selling shade Laguna. Second skin warmth with a natural looking finish. Retails for $38. I am definitely really intrigued only because I really have fallen in love with certain products from NARS. Like you guys know that my favorite foundation from NARS is the uh, Light Reflecting Foundation. I've been wearing it since I got it back in January. I love it so much. It's so good. I'm wearing it right now on my face. I cannot get enough of it. But is that like the only hit from the brand or are there more products that I really do love? So that's something I definitely really want to try. And I've definitely gotten into cream bronzers, not so much of clean a cream blushes, but definitely some cream bronzers. I still put a powder bronzer on top, but I really do love how it like warms up the face. It allows me to kind of contour with it. And I don't know, I really do like cream bronzers, surprisingly enough. Okay, so next we do have the new Tartlet Tubing Mascara Duo. It says, help to volumize, lengthen, and curl your lashes with just one swipe, 24 hour long wear, flake free, smudge proof formula, including lash moisturizing, shea butter, castor oil, and carabinoa wax, 
while the 360 degree brush molded finds wraps and extends every lash thanks to the 16 rows of 296 bristles retails for $32 it's kind of expensive for a mascara but I'm not gonna lie I'm absolutely obsessed with how the wand looks now I really do want to try it out just because I love trying out different mascaras it definitely is on the pricier side because I love wearing my benefit mascaras and I also love wearing a lot of drugstore ma mascaras drugstore mascaras are freaking fantastic and they work just as well as actual like high-end mascaras so I do want to try this um I'm probably gonna wait though for it to come in from Sephora because if you guys didn't know I did have some issues with Tarte shipping and handling and I want to let you guys know I did reach out to the company they were super kind they got back to me immediately we had like several emails back and forth oh it's thundering <laughs> It's like noon, <laughs> but we had several emails back and forth and they actually sent me a brand new setting spray. Just waiting for it to come in. They were super sweet. Just like you guys told me first time I ever reached out to a brand about like products that came in broken. I just don't do well with it. I get really bad anxiety and I don't know. I just feel like maybe because I do YouTube, they wouldn't take me seriously and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. It's just the idea of reaching out to somebody gives me mad anxiety, so I don't end up doing it. But I will say that I did reach out because of you guys, and I did get a replacement item sent. So thank you guys so much. Will I shop with them again? Yeah, I'm going to keep shopping Tarte, but I don't know. I still might go to Sephora just in case. Plus, it's a great way for me to add points, like to get Sephora points too, so... Next, we also have another product from Tarte. It's the new Amazonian Clay Blurring Powder. It says a weightless, buildable coverage, skin-like soft focus finish helps you do the look of fine lines and imperfections up to 16 hours of wear that won't cake or fade. It has sodium hyaluronic moisture complex that helps to moisturize and temporarily plump the appearance of, of, of skin. And it has a brush <laughs> and it retails for $39. Again, I'm actually really curious to give this a go because, you know, I like trying out new products that are like for skin blurring and whatnot. And it is a powder. So that's something that definitely intrigues me because you guys know I'm all about like trying out powder stuff because I'm super oily. But you know, it's actually really funny. I've never tried any of Tarte's Amazonian clay line like ever. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I've been doing makeup now for a couple of years and that's the one product from Amazon that I, Amazon, that's one product from Tarte I have not tried. Is there Amazonian clay product? How weird is that, right? I feel like that's so weird that I haven't tried that. Next, we have the new Redimension Hydra Powder Blush from RMS Beauty. It says, with nourishing jojoba oils, a powder blush that seamlessly blends into your skin to lend your face a silky smooth appearance. It does retail for $30 each. There are four shades. I will say it's a little expensive for blush, but I absolutely do love like how it looks. Like in the pan, it looks so freaking cool, but it's kind of expensive for blush. I think like the Jaclyn, I think like the Nude Prism Palette from Lunar Beauty is like, uh, 39, 35, somewhere around that price range for six blushes. So this is kind of expensive for one. I've never tried anything from RMS Beauty. I don't know the quality. I don't know the formula. So this is something I'm going to pass on, but I do think it's cool that they are offering a powder brush because powder blush, because most places are offering like creamy blushes. So it's kind of cool to see like there's a powder version coming out. looks pretty though, for sure. All right, next we have the new This Is Milky Gloss from NYX Cosmetics. It's a creamy ultra glass milkshake shine in 12 shades and flavors. So the retail for $8.50. It says it's infused with dairy-free vegan milk for 12 hours of quenching hydration. I have never heard of dairy milk uh, giving you hydration on the lips. Have you guys ever heard of that? Like that is super freaking bizarre to me. Um, they do retail for $8.50 a piece. I actually saw Michaela on TikTok try out the green shade and I thought maybe it's going to be green, but it wasn't. It's just a clear gloss with just different scented flavors. That's pretty much all it is. So you really only need to get one and then kind of call it a day because they all look very, very similar. Some have a little bit of tint to them, but for the most part, they look like they're going to sheer out or they're going to blend onto whatever lip that you are wearing. Um, it's, it looks cool, but yeah, I could definitely see it having just a bit of a tint, but I could also see it kind of shifting and changing, like to match whatever lip you're gonna wear underneath it. And if you're not gonna wear any lip, then maybe lip liner, or it's just gonna be more sheared out. You know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of like how I view it. It looks cool, and if I see it in stores, I'll probably pick some up in stores for sure. Okay, so next we do have the whole new House Laboratory Clean Artistry Makeup. It says, introducing clean, cruelty-free vegan products that are safe for the eyes, lips, and cheeks with the all-new next-generation formulas, packaging, multi-shades with color 
um, color domination, all infused with skincare benefits. All formulas are high tech, high pigment, high performance without compromising color with skincare benefits. So there's actually a lot of new products are dropping and they're actually sold inside Sephora now. And I have to say, this is something that I expected from house laboratories. Like when I think of Lady Gaga, I think of bright, bold, outspoken, vibrant. And when you saw house laboratories when it first launched, you're like, what is this? Like that doesn't scream Lady Gaga to me. Like I never got the vibes. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing like Lady Gaga in here, the bright, vibrant colors. Like that is something that intrigues me, the unique shape of like the highlighters. Like it looks so pretty. I love the dimension in here and I'm definitely gonna be excited to check out some products. I'll probably wanna check it out inside Sephora myself to really see how the products are. That's something that I wanna do, but I will say it's actually really, really intriguing. So that makes me happy. Like finally, <laughs> finally, they are freaking listening and finally making Lady Gaga like presence known in the brand. So, so next we do have the new bridal gift box from Spectrum Cosmetics from Spectrum Collection. It combines something new, old, borrow it, and blue. And I have to say, it is such a cute box. Like 100%, it is so freaking cute. I don't really see people really reusing this realistically for like bridal stuff, because most people would want to save that collection like for pictures and whatnot. It is very, very cute. I love the photos of it, and I can definitely see people getting it for that purpose. Um, I don't know the quality of Spectrum Collections. I would assume that maybe they're pretty good. I don't know, I've never tried them, but I will say it's actually pretty. It's pretty, I do like it. Am I gonna get it? No, but I do think it's really pretty. Okay, so next we have the new um, product and set. This is the Overnight Hustle AHA plus BHA Resurfacer from JLo Beauty. It retails for $58. It says it's a nightly treatment powered by natural skin, resurfacing ingredients to gently exfoliate, visibly reduce, visibly refine texture and improve clarity. I'm not gonna get this. Um, I've never heard anyone talk about JLo Beauty. Like truly, I've never heard anyone talk about JLo Beauty. I don't know the quality of this brand. I don't know if it's good because no one ever talks about it. Like I have not seen one person talk about it like on TikTok or on YouTube. So I can't tell you guys the quality of it. I will say that it's actually rather expensive, but I mean, I guess good for her. I guess her brand probably is doing well. I've seen it inside Sephora. Did I even like stop to look at it? No, I walked by and he's like, oh, that's cool. And then I just kept going. I just kept going. So I don't know, but I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna get it. Okay, so next we have a new brand slash new category. We have Say Hello to Skin. For Say Hello to Skin. This is their new, this is the new skincare brand by Kim Kardashian. It's called Skin to match like her like Skims clothing wear and Oh, I have to say the packaging is very Kim. It's very minimalistic. It's very bland, very boring, but that is like her style. That's something she really loves. And you know, I can't knock her for it. That's what she loves. I love like the plants, colorful life. And she just loves very like neutrals, very like minimalistic, very just her own vibe. So I, I appreciate it, but I'm definitely not gonna try out her skincare stuff just cause I have no desire to. I'll probably wait to see what other people will say just cause I had no desire to try out Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie skin and when I tried like one or few products of Kylie skin I wasn't really impressed with it so I don't really know how like Kim Kardashians will be I will say I freaking love the Kardashian show like I did enjoy keeping up with the Kardashians but man there's something about the Kardashian show on Hulu that I just think vibes so much more it's so freaking cool I love that they break the fourth wall all the time they acknowledge the cameras they're not afraid to have those conversations I love the fact that they like talk about editing the show while they're doing it and I really think it's such a fascinating show and I love watching them but I just have no desire to like shop her skincare. I hope maybe she kind of reformulates and does more stuff with her makeup brand. I wish it wasn't everything like neutral based. I wish she had a more color, but you know, it's her vibe, so I can't knock her for it. But yeah, I'm not gonna get the skincare, but good for her though. Okay, so next we have the No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick from YLS Beauty. This is a creamy, this is a creamy bronzer stick that instantly brings depth and dimension to the face. Lightweight satin finish formula glides onto the skin to create a diffuse shadow-like effect, leaving behind a healthy looking glow. It's formulated with smoothing skincare ingredients in five shades. I again have never tried anything LYS Beauty. I really want to. I just haven't actually tried anything from the brand, but I definitely want to because I'm really curious to see how the brand is. I've seen a few spots of it inside my Sephora. My Sephora doesn't have a big section for this brand, but I see like on an end cap, I'm kind of like, hmm, maybe at some point I should try it. I think I will at some point. 
Okay, so next we have the new Set and Correct Finishing Powders from Myra Mora Cosmetics. These are ultra fine and weightless formula with four complementary shades that will correct uneven skin tone, brighten, and add radiance to your complexion. So they retail for $15 each. There's only four shades, and I will say they're super cute. Like they are super cute. I really did love the the brush. I really did love the blushes that I tried from them. This brand this brand blew up because of Michaela on TikTok, but um. I won't get it because I don't really need like color correctors, but I will say it's super cute. Very, very, like I think it's such a cute product and they're very inexpensive. And I personally did enjoy shopping the brand. So that's something to keep an eye on. I'll definitely keep an eye out on that brand to see what else they come up with next, but that's cool. Okay, so next we have the new D Disney collaboration with Wet n Wild. It is the Stitch and Lilo collection. This looks so cute. I am not going to lie. It looks super cute. It is available for pre-order right now on Amazon. I don't know if the entire set is available, but like the bag is just so cute. Like look at that bag. Like it's so freaking cute. So I could definitely see myself pre-ordering this and picking it up because I really want to try it out. I really do enjoy when Wet n Wild does cute little stuff like this. Like they did a Care Bear one that I did pass on, but when they did their SpongeBob collection, oh my God, I had to get it because I love SpongeBob and I really do love Lilo and Stitch. I love Disney. So I'm definitely going to go pick this up because it's just so cute. And like the palette itself like screams summer vibes to me. So I'm definitely going to get that. Next we have the new ABH Navu. I think I'm saying it right, the Navu eyeshadow palette. It says it features mattes and multi-dimensional metallics in a mix of everyday neutrals, pops of color, and a fresh green color story. There's 12 pigmented, there's 12 pigments in here, and there's 200% more of every shadow than their original palettes. They're creamy, blendable formula for natural to glam looks, and it actually launches on the 13th. And I'm definitely gonna pick it up. It's been so long since I reviewed anything from ABH. And I remember I talked about it earlier this week in a video, and you guys had let me know that the last ABH palette was the primrose palette i never got that palette um i forgot that palette existed because i haven't gotten it i saw it in stores like last year i think but they just don't release as much as they used to they were they used to release a lot every couple months and they've really really slowed down so that's why i forgot about that palette but i definitely want to pick this up because it's been so long since i reviewed an abh palette i want to say the last one was the norvina volume 3 collection like the orange one, I think it was the last one I had ever reviewed from ABH because it's been that long. So I'm definitely really curious to see how the formula is. Like, ugh, it kind of just brings back good memories of me shopping with the brand way back in the days. So it's kind of exciting. Okay, so next we have another day, another color pop. And this is their new lippy set. So you could get a box of lip pencils, 40 shades for $79. Or you can get the big box of lippy sticks, 48 shades for the price of $99, making them $7 each and the one before that $6 each. Um, it did launch on the 9th, so I believe it launched yesterday. And um, I don't think I'm getting this in PR. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Like I got added to the list well over like, uh, so it was sometime in April when I got added to the list. Okay, so right before the Winnie the Pooh collection is when I got added to the list and I have not received anything from the brand um, besides a welcome package. So I don't know what's going on. I am absolutely like hesitant to reach out. I know you guys say I should. Corey says I should. It's just I don't know what to say. Like I really just don't know what to say and it brings me like massive anxiety thinking about reaching out to a brand and be like, hey, so, uh, cause like, I'm, I don't wanna be that person that seems like I'm just trying to get like free products when I'm very capable of buying it myself. It's just, I think it's just more of like, you said that I was added and then made me look like a fool on camera to my subscribers. And that's what's embarrassing to me. Cause I, I hate telling you guys things unless I have like the physical proof, like in my hands that I got something. Do you know what I mean? So like, the first time I was added to like Lunar Beauty PR list, I never said anything to you guys until something physically came in. And then even then the following launches, I would refuse to say anything until I physically got it. Like, oh my God, just because I don't know. I don't know what list I'm on, what list I'm not on. I don't ever expect to be on anyone's PR list. Anytime there's a new release and I get sent it, I am unbelievably shocked and amazed and so grateful because I just never expect it. You know, I just, I don't because I've definitely been let down in the past by brands. So, this is a prime example. Like, this is a prime example right here of me telling you guys something ahead of time before I got the proof of the, like the proof is in the pudding situation and look at how all that's worked out. So I don't know, um, maybe I'll have Corey reach out on my behalf, um, like write the email for me. I just, I, I really am struggling with the idea of like reaching out just, 
it makes me want to shut down so bad. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> I think it's great they're doing lippy set, but I don't, I don't know what's going on there. And I know you guys are going to ask. I wish I knew. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so next we have the new, oh my God. <laughs> next we have the new Makeup Revolution collaboration with Coca-Cola. Um, this is inspired by their Space Flavor Intergalactic. I am definitely going to pass on this because it's one, Makeup Revolution, and two, how many times are they gonna do like a Coca-Cola collab? Like not Makeup Revolution, but just brands. So many brands do Coca-Cola, and I'm like, can we like, I don't know, switch things up. Or like, if you're gonna do Coca-Cola, do it justice. I think the first time Morphe did it, I think their first collection was pretty well done. I really enjoyed it. But the second collection didn't really make any sense. And Makeup Revolution, they're just, they just never make sense. Like they just throw colors together and go, yeah, 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 it's Coke, it's Coke. I'm like, mm, make it make sense though. So um, definitely gonna pass on this. Although I will say this girl made a very, very gorgeous look. Like good for her. That's freaking fantastic. The makeup bag is super cute. I will definitely give it that, but I'm definitely not going to pick this up because I just literally have no desire to, but that's cool. <laughs> okay. So here is a sneak peek of, okay. So here's the first launch of the new beauty brand is a Maya French beauty or is a Maya beauty. I talked about this in my last anti haul and holy shit her brand is fucking expensive so for her color pigmented eyeshadow it retails for the european price of 95 dollars so i would maybe say for us i i don't know i think they have a higher value so i think ours would be like 70 either we're gonna pay 70 or we're gonna pay over 100 for it um it is just stupidly expensive i'll say that especially for and for a brand new brand and then the color story in the palette just isn't pretty to me. Like it's just not a pretty color story. Um, it doesn't really make sense the way it's laid out. I don't know the formula. It could be a freaking incredible formula, but it is just so expensive for me want to want to try out. It's supposed to launch at the end of June. Again, I think it's great whenever an influencer or brand owner, I think it's great whenever an influencer comes out with their own brand. I know how hard they work for it, but I just, I don't know. I just doesn't, it just doesn't stand out to me right now. Like the outside packaging on the palette looks pretty legit, looks pretty cool. But like the color story itself just doesn't really make sense. And I don't know what the conversion would be for the price. I just know that it's pretty, pretty, pretty expensive for a new indie brand. So I'm going to pass on that one. Just like I'm going to pass on the new mini eyeshadow palette. This is the Midnight Voyage from Pat McGrath. It's $29. So it's actually a really decent price point, but I just am not going to get it just because it's a lot of purples and I don't really wear a lot of purples in my color story when it comes to makeup looks. I don't really utilize a lot of purples or reds, not that many pinks, and I just don't see myself really gravitating towards this. It doesn't really stand out to me to wanna to buy it, but I do know that Pat McGrath has a wonderful formula, so if you really do wanna try something from Pat McGrath and you don't wanna break the bank, this would probably be the pile to do so because it is only $29 for six shades, and the shades usually, and the formula is really incredible with Pat McGrath. So if you like if you like a little bit more of the neutral purpley base, I think you might really like this. That's just something that I'm gonna pass on, so. Okay, so next we have more, next we have chapter three coming from REM Beauty. And again, I just don't have any desire. Her brand just doesn't make sense. Their color stories, the color stories are so bland. The packaging is so Claire's packaging, like, you know, the, the makeup Claire's, like it's just so, it just feels like it's so cheap. It just feels like it's such cheap packaging. Doesn't look, it look like Ariana put a lot of thought or work into her brand. And I don't know, I just have literally no desire. I have seen it in person when I looked at Paige's collection and when I went to Ulta. And again, I'm just like, no, I have no desire, no desire. So I'm sure some products are great. I just, I just personally could care less to try it. <laughs> and I know it's bad because I'm a reviewer, but at the same time, I don't have the money to review every single brand that comes out. So I really want to invest the money that I do have to get the stuff I genuinely am excited about. So sorry. Okay, so next we have some new products or new shades from Gwen Stefani. She's releasing some signature red lipsticks and um, they look super cute. I definitely won't lie, like some of the reds look super cute. I probably am gonna pass on this just because I am not the biggest, biggest fan of lipsticks. I do prefer either a liquid lip or a gloss over a lipstick. I mean, I definitely will wear them. There's some very comfortable lipsticks I have tried for sure, but I just, I don't know. Again, just one of those brands that just doesn't stand out to me enough to want me to try it. Okay, so this one really has me intrigued because um, I think this is a little gross, especially coming from someone who's extremely lactose intolerant, but there are 
the nail ink is doing a collab with Velveeta cheese. So they're going to have cheese scented nail polish. I'm sorry, but who comes up with this? Like who comes up with like this idea to have a cheese scented nail polish? One, I never have thought that nail polish smelled good to begin with. I just, I really am not a big fan of the smell of nail polish. And then to add cheese, I can only just imagine it being like, you have that fake nacho cheese smell or like really just like uh, disgusting, like cheesy breath. When people have cheese and they talk to you, you're like, what? Uh, to like back up, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I just can't imagine this smelling good. <laughs> I can't imagine someone going this, oh, you know what really would make, like, make me so happy? If I had like a cheese scented nail polish, I put it on and they just smell it the whole time. Like who, I don't know. That just is so freaking bizarre. So bizarre. I'm gonna need someone to buy it and tell me what they think. Like seriously, I'm gonna need someone to buy it and tell me what they think because I'm just generally really freaking curious about this now. I'm not gonna get it, but now I'm curious. Ooh, we have some rumors happening. We have the new Alter Beauty is about to roll out with About Face. If you guys did not know, About Face is run by Halsey and now her brand is gonna be featured inside Ulta. So Ulta is really, really stepping up their game. I, I love Ulta, like I have nothing bad to say about it, but I still prefer shopping at Sephora because it has a lot more brands that I like shopping with. But I'm really, really happy to see that Ulta is really starting to bring like Fenty Beauty, Charlotte Tilbury, now they're gonna have like About Face, Jacqueline cosmetics is there um so many more brands are starting to be featured inside ulta which is really great for me in the terms of points because ulta's point system is superior to sephora's sephora's is so piss poor like it's it's a joke for sephora's but ulta they're the shit when it comes to their points like seriously my mom and i earlier this past year i think it was this past year yeah we we're able to spend like almost, we spent over 400 dollars there but paid like 30 but paid like i don't know a couple bucks like 13 bucks after or seven bucks after something very cheap after the points because the points there are seriously they're fantastic sephora can learn a lesson or two from them okay so next we have a new product from kylie cosmetics this is the new bff collab it's kylie jenner in collaboration with stassi it's the it's the bff collab and it's going to come with pressed illuminating powder two liquid eye, eye pencils liquid lipstick and lip duo and a high gloss set and i have to say these colors are so freaking beautiful and the highlighter looks so pretty like so pretty and i'm never one to be like yeah kylie cosmetics but this, this collection has definitely like piqued my interest. I'm definitely very intrigued by this collection. I kind of want to try it. It's been so long since I've tried anything from Kylie Cosmetics and this one just really is, there's just something about it that it's just making me like excited. Like, look at that. Like, look at how pretty those are, right? So pretty, so pretty. That makes me just kind of want to try it. I kind of want to try it. Okay, last but not least, we do have a new concealer from Too Faced Cosmetics. They come in 18 shades. That's all the sneak peek is about. It just shows 18 shades from concealer about to drop from Too Faced. And I'm really, it's really interesting to see them like um, dropping some new makeup because I do know that they are being like kind of rebranded because I do know that, that Jared stepped out. So I'm kind of curious to see what this brand has to offer next. Hopefully they switch things up and just don't do the same cinnamon swirl, teddy bear, chocolate bar shit every freaking holiday. I hope they switch things up just a tad, but it's kind of cool to see them drop concealer. I don't know if I ever tried Too Faced concealer before. Have I tried Too Faced concealer? No, no, I haven't. I have not. So that'd be kind of interesting. So that are all the new makeup releases. I definitely skipped out on a few because there's just so much that happened between the last time I did a anti-haul or is it compared to now. So many brands are releasing so many things. A lot of them are releasing very, very similar things. I've noticed a lot of them are releasing bronzers right now. Like, and I get maybe because like the summer season, that's what people like to do is look bronzy and glowy. So that's why I'm seeing a lot of releases right now, but I'm definitely curious to see what brands are coming up next with like eyeshadow palettes. Cause I didn't see that many eyeshadow palettes, didn't see that many highlighters or lip products or mess like our mascaras that much. So I'm really curious to see what brand is going to come out with next. So yeah, guys, that is my anti haul or is it talking about all the new makeup releases let you guys know whether or not it's worth it or if I'm picking it up. This turned out to be more of like an anti haul because I really am not 
I'm really not picking up a lot, <laughs> but I really do have fun doing this series because it's just kind of nice to sit back, relax, and talk about makeup with my friends. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not read it because I do post four to five videos a week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for Life, where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, a huge thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. And whether or not it's actually worth your, and I have now on top, uh, on whatever lip you're gonna wear under. From YSL, I really want from. Um, but I really do like talking with, I really do like, I